What's up guys, JT Moff Road here. We're leaking. Okay, so we're as in the truck is leaking. I'm I'm not leaking, but truck is leaking transmission fluid. So I I've been noticing after my trip to Southington where you know I beat this thing up a little bit. Notice that in the gravel driveway we had some little spots of oil. So got underneath, looked around, you know, was checking everything. I have some rattly CV shafts and not not too much, but I, I looked up and noticed that one of my transmission lines was leaking. They've been kind of seeping where they, the rubber meets the metal ever since I really got it. And I was like, well, I don't see anything underneath. We'll just keep running with it. Got to the point where there's actual drips from the transmission lines recently and I looked up and I found near one of the brackets there is transmission fluid leaking down and it's leaking while I'm driving and just coating everything else as I drive. Guys I'm gonna do the best I can but you would look at at this differential and think that the the differential is leaking but I'm I'm pretty sure that it's the transmission fluid. The fluid's all red, and where that bracket is, you can see it's pretty rusty on either side. I don't know why, I feel like that's a pretty plastic clip. I don't know why there would be any galvanic corrosion there. I think those are, I don't think those are steel lines, maybe they are. I thought they were, they were aluminum, but anyway. That's where I see the most fluid coming from, so I can only assume that that's where the fluid's leaking out of at that at that point. Plus, you can see it's pretty corroded on either side. So I got some new lines. We're going to go ahead and throw those in, see if it fixes it. These are the uh, transmission lines. They're not the best location, <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of you guys know that who have actually replaced these. I replaced the lines on my S10 years ago when I didn't know how to do anything at all. You know, I, I still don't know how to do much, but I, I give it a good try. I've really just been dreading this just because there's no, there's really no access up there at all to, to get at anything. So we're, we're just going to try. <laughs> I can't guarantee I'm going to film much guys. These, these aren't how to videos. You know, this is just me working on stuff, trying to do the best I can. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So this is one of those fun projects that when I'm trying to do stuff, it just takes forever to do. I kill my camera and by the time I finally get it, get whatever I'm trying to get out, out, my camera just starts dying. So I'm just going to come in every now and then tell you what's going on. So finally got the bottom line out. So this is the only line I have to change. I'm gonna try to change both lines just because I'm doing this. I might as well change both of them. So I'm gonna try to change both. But the bottom line's finally out. I've taken one skid plate out to kind of access the front to get to the clips. So that is out. This is my tool that I've been using. It's one of the cheap little Harbor Freight tools for like clips and stuff. Might not be easy to tell on camera, but it's pretty bent. See if I can put it up close to something. I don't know. It's pretty bent. So I was trying to use this because there's a little opening there that is able to grab it on the line and I can just kind of like pry against the transmission and pop it and it pops out. I'm gonna try to get the other one. I feel like the ones up against the radio are gonna be easier to get out. Knock on wood, of course. But uh, we're gonna try to get the rest of them out and uh, see how it goes. Lower line is disconnected on both ends. That's the one that's actually bad. I could end now, but no. I'm gonna perceive and I'm gonna keep going. Or at least I'm gonna try to. 
Alright, so this is the line. This is the bad one. Let's see. Like it's it's obviously bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna set the camera down. I think I see the crack. So Yep. I was right. That's where it was bad. Well guys, this has been very rough. This is now the second day of the transmission line replacement. So I replaced the line that was bad. I couldn't replace the upper line. Just I couldn't get to the I couldn't get to the clip on the upper side. I think probably if I had a a, uh, a longer pick tool, I might have been able to get that clip off. I just couldn't get the leverage on it that I needed. And there's just there's not a lot of space up there for that upper one. The bottom one's hard enough to get to. And yeah, so I we'll see how this pans out. The the old fitting that goes into the side of the transmission was so corroded that when I put the new line in, it wouldn't go in. It went in fine on the radiator side, but the transmission side, it wouldn't go at all, no matter how how I moved it, whatever wouldn't go. So I lightly sanded a little bit off the edge of like the barb that kind of keeps it from um, backing out once it clips in. So I finally had sanded off just enough that I was able to pop that in, and I got it in. Once to put the clips in, bent the one clip, lost the other. So I decided I need to get new clips. So I went to AutoZone, picked up a pack of 12 of like, you know, three different size, size ones. Um, it's like 12 bucks. So I bent the one right off the bat and uh, the next two went in good. So I'm gonna, I was running the truck a little bit after I got these done because I there's a heat shield that I took off of the transmission that didn't want to put back on and then find out it's leaking and then have to take it back off. It's kind of a pain. So I, I got it done, I let it run for a while, I went through all the gears, I went back and forth a little bit, hopefully to see if there's any leaks. Um, nothing, nothing's leaking, so I think we're good at the fittings. Um, I guess we'll see once it gets hot, you know, when we drive around, I don't know if it's gonna, if the fluid, you know, gets up there once it gets hot, I don't know how that works. But we'll, we'll eventually drive around uh, and see how it does. Hopefully we have no leaks. So um, do want to point something out. So that's old fluid. But the heat shield kind of covers that servo that you see there, the big circle thing. Covers that and kind of goes with that whole side. Now, you can see there's not a lot of room up there, but it's just enough that you can't get your hands in there. So taking that, that heat shield out really helped me, but still just can't get to that upper line. But the, the lower line you can see is replaced. So we at least got that done. We succeeded at least changing out the bad line. I would have liked to change both of them out, but I'm actually taking off work right now. <laughs> I went in for a few hours and had my wife pick me up, bring me back and work on this so I could try to get this done in case I need to get any parts. So. Now this is fixed, I have to put the heat shield on, but since I had it run, it's right next to the one catalytic converter. I have the fan running, trying to cool that down, so I gotta get that back on, get all cleaned up, go back to work. So we got this done, wasn't, wasn't the best. Um, if I had, you know, if this wasn't my daily driver, I would let it sit and I would replace the other line. Or if I had more time, I'd try to, try to work on that line a little more. Uh, I don't know if you can drop the transmission down a little bit. I don't know if that helps uh, allow for more access if, if you do that or not. So, but if you've replaced lines like this, um, drop down in the comments. Let me know what, what you've run into, if you have any, if you've had any problems, if you experienced the same pain I did, that it was just a real big pain. I don't know, I'm not a real fan of these clips. I did not like them at all. Um, once I had a little more patience the next day, kind of calmed down. <laughs> So I was pretty angry the day before, once I was able to calm down and get new clips, the new clips went in so much better. So at least at least that was good. So all right, we're, we're done with this. I need to get a transmission cooler for this. So that's on my list of things to do. So we'll be kind of revisiting this whole area a little bit. Um, so we, we got that coming up, other stuff coming up. It's very lacking in this video with actually showing you what I was doing. So apologize for that, <laughs> it was very, very frustrating. There's good how-to videos out there on how to do this, even though I can't do it very well, apparently. Alrighty guys, so if this is the first time on the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And I think that's about it for this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one.